Sway House and Hype House were like the two biggest houses. And then, okay, so let's dive into that. But that was a pretty big part of your life. What, what was yeah. like the coolest part? What was like the not coolest part? Uh, the not coolest part is when we were first coming up. It was everyone's eyes were on us at all times. So it's like we fuck up. It was amplified by 10 million paparazzi nonstop outside of our house. Like anywhere we go, there's just old men with cameras in our face. It was really weird. In my opinion, it was. But a weird was it era. weird because you're like, like yeah, that's weird. Went, but like, low key, from, you're like, that's cool, dude. No, I went from like literally nothing. Like, I was a big social media kid before TikTok. Like, I was getting you know good engagement, 100k likes on Instagram, like that type of vibe. But it went from that to like a bunch of like 20 old guys with cameras just <laughs> in my face, and I was so confused. It was like mm-hmm. it was a culture shock, right. bro. Bro, we got to talk about this. Uh, there was a, it was it the Hollywood fix or the Hollywood whatever? That kid banked. That guy banked. Bo, bro, tell Thanks. me why. Tell me why I sat up watching his shit. I was like, "What are my friends up to?" And I Wait, was, the one that Cody Co is like yeah, uh, talks about, <laughs> bro. That guy is grieving. Bro, no, like, that. What does he look like? Do you he, know what he looks like? He's like a bigger guy. Uh, what was his name? Fletcher. 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 Yeah. Whoa, yeah. That's what an iconic name. What a name. <laughs> so he was, he was a but also, guy. that's really funny. Hey, Fletcher, Fletcher, get out of the bush. <laughs> get out of the bush, Fletcher. She's 17. You can't do that. And we'd be we'd be like on our phones, like at a restaurant, and they'd like zoom into our phones and, and see what we were oh. looking at. It was so weird. That's that's weird. Yeah. Then yeah. they like it's like we were all in public relationships at the time, and then we would be going through our public breakups. And then you have like these guys just saying, "Hey, how do you feel about it? you getting dumped, idiot?" Uh, and I'm like, uh, You're "40, bro. <laughs> I go home to your wife." That's the thing about that guy, like the Fletcher guy. Like it's just some of the questions he would ask, and, like press on it. Like some of the interviews to watch, like the way he presses is awkward. Did you just see the one where he goes up to Haley Bieber? It's recent. He goes, "Hey, uh, Haley, are you worried about uh, Justin getting back with Selena, and then <laughs> Jay Lee will be over?" <laughs> it's like, well, you're 45, dog. <laughs> also, she's married. Give it up. <laughs> Poor girl, though. Imagine being yeah. married and then, like, people keep bringing up his 16 year old girlfriend, dude. I don't know what I would do. I'd be like, hey, man. That's when people were like, hey, thanks for watching Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, that's the times are gone, dude. Yeah, no. It, that drama is massive, right? Did he oh have a God, camera or was so he used, like off an iPhone? Oh, he does a camera, full on camera. <laughs> okay, at least. And, and it, it, you'll notice, you can't see his, you can't see his face, like obviously, but you'll see like the celebrity, like clearly get annoyed with the questions. You see him in person, his face goes like, so like really though? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm sorry, but like, can you answer it though? So I can get my clickbait? <laughs> <laughs> he he made he had to have be making like he had to at least pulled in over a million dollars. Um, I I was actually talking to one of his YouTube reps, and he has a YouTube. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the fuck, man? Why did my shit get demonetized? Well, you can't watch a fourteen year old shower. I just I don't know how many times I gotta tell you. Wait until they have the robot. <laughs> so he he was making uh. Prime TikTok drama clout, right? He's making like 300k a month. Wow. As a paparazzi guy, so that actually influenced a lot of people. A to lot do, of yeah. people to start becoming paparazzi, mm. um, and that's why 20 people eventually were just following TikTokers with their phones and their cameras. Bro, bro, imagine it was like a chain effect. Yeah. Imagine an old school paparazzi dude. The one who used to follow the greats like Jay Z, Beyonce, Rihanna. They got twenty bucks a picture. Yeah, for pictures. They're like, hopefully I get a really sick picture. Hanging upside down in New York, risking his life for his daughter's diapers that he's trying to afford. Twenty bucks. Rihanna, is the diamond really bright? And then he looks at the news and watches. Dude gets three hundred thousand dollars a month following Bryce hiking up Runyon. I would kill myself. I would immediately <laughs> kill myself. I'm like, what? Where are these kids? Grab my camera, dust it off. Oh, dude, it, it got to a point where it was like, it was actually insane. All the top TikTokers were just being followed by all these weirdos. And it was like when like Saddle, 
Not not weirdos, just like you know. <laughs> <laughs> His PR team's like, dude, you gotta chill, bro. You can't call them weirdos. Uh, no, I mean, dude, it was it was just like just a really weird time that we were living in when TikTokers were first exploding, and uh, then everyone figured out that Fletcher was making like 300k a month. So, like everybody, you're like, was you're doing welcome. It. So how was it like living in that house with? Because it's a GP's lot of people calling me. Should I answer him? GP's calling you. Yes. Oh, cool. G- GP, you're you're on the podcast. Don't say anything reckless. I'm on what? On my podcast. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> I just didn't want to. I didn't want to ignore you. No, I appreciate your answer. I'm on the podcast, but uh, let's chat when you're done, and then also we we got to figure out when I'm going to be in your podcast. Dude, hell yeah, GP. Listen. The day that you sign up for your first fight, because you know my money's on you, GP. I'm trying to get GP to fight somebody so bad, bro. So bad. Yeah, dude. Okay, so I'll, I'll, save, I'll save coming on the podcast till I have my fight lined up. That's good. Amazing. Love you. I'll call you back. You got it. Bye. Later, wow, I see where Logan Paul got his marketing from. No, he's the yeah, just the plug. He goes, okay, call me back, but you know, make, make sure you schedule me. I got his brand to come up. 